you guys time is back with another Winston's video today we have a fragrance from mason alumbra but before we get into that just want to say thank you guys again it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices whether it's that cell phone that tablet that laptop that macintosh that brand new big screen tv whether you watch me on a plane a train an automobile whether you're watching me at work maybe you're watching me at a graduation ceremony maybe you're watching me in the movies because the movie you're watching is complete trash so you say hey it's time to watch fragrance reviews from my favorite guy, Mr. Lincense. And if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. And I know these dogs are ready to bark, but, ooh, maybe not. New age for these dogs. Just seen the dog mosey on by. They did not bark. So good for them. But Mason Alumbra, it is pretty much another branding uh, strategy pretty much from Latafa. You got Latafa making all the fragrances, and then you got their little different little branches. And all these little branches makes it a, a, another clone, another this, another that. And it's all a part of Latafa's big, big plan to make more, more money. So uh, with that being said, let's finally get into this fragrance now. This was a fragrance that I had no clue or no idea about until I seen it on ebay again my favorite ebay seller out there in san diego california or, or lemon grove wherever the hell that is if it's close to each other just yeah it's probably right there right next to each other but came across this one i said man that looks pretty cool what is that all about and uh so i looked it up and it is a fragrance uh from a house uh called orto parisi and this fragrance is probably about 150 to 200 dollars for a 50 ml so you guys already know as cheap as i am i am not spending money on that I'd rather get me a few extras but this one is a clone of meg marie mega marie okay this one is called megara 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 now i'm not sure if it's mega marie or meg marie i don't know all I know is this fragrance is actually getting a lot of praise, if you will. Now, there's not really that much about it, but from what I've seen is people really love this Meg Marie. Now, this is the clone of that, so hopefully it is around the same ballpark. Now, people are saying it's kind of uh, aromatic. It's kind of, uh, uh, it's got a little bit of aquatics in there. It's got a little bit of like sea notes, seaweed and stuff like that. So it might be earthy and green and kind of watery, but who knows? Let's uh, get into this and see what it is all about. Looking at this, this is not your typical, just a standard fragrance box. This is actually a pretty nice cardboard box if you think about it. So there it is, got the plastic off. We do have that Mason the Lumber sticker right there. On the bottom, we do have some batch code stuff right there for you guys. And we open that up. Oh, opens up this way. Whoa, look at that. So hopefully that stayed in that thing, in that little. Whoa, take a look at that presentation. Man, for less than $50, I mean, what Mason the Lumber is doing is incredible. The fragrances smell incredible. The performance is always incredible. Lately, as far as which uh, fragrance you actually get, the presentations have been incredible. Pretty much for 50 bucks, this is what you're getting, okay? Magara, okay? You got that little tree on that. So nice. This is actually one of those type of um, boxes that you actually save because it's actually nice. Those little cheap ones that you get from all the other designer fragrances the ones that don't even put no effort into the packaging uh those ones you just toss up but look at this take a look at this bottle okay this is a 50 ml so they are pretty much cloning everything about this you got this kind of wood top now i'm looking at a picture of the real deal that one is a little bit different it's more rounded this is one that is just more square uh, but overall um i do like this presentation the nice wood cap actually feels like wood I know there's plastic on the inside, but it is uh, kind of got this wood feel. It's not a magnetic cap, but it does fit snugly. So everything about that is very nice. Now, from what I hear, 
on this Meg Marie is that you really don't need that many sprays with it. You really need like two sprays and you're pretty much good for the day. Even I've seen people say they get uh, almost a day and a half's worth of performance, longevity. So I, I can't wait to see this, especially with this being a most likely a warmer weather fragrance. Now this is probably gonna be your outdoorsy little high heat fragrance. So let's check that out. I'm actually kind of excited for this one. So here we go. Pressure sensitive atomizer. That is always a great thing. Now this is uh, again a warmer weather fragrance, so it's it's not going to have that huge depth like some of the other fragrances have. The darker fragrances, the woodies, the spices, it's not going to have that much depth. But what I can say is this thing is very nice. It's kind of almost got this citrusy, aromatic, aquatic kind of got this green earthiness that could be like that seaweeds kind of giving it this saltiness if you will the salty aquatic smell which is very nice maybe some slight citrus in here I'm not sure because there's not that much as far as the note breakdowns on this thing I, I've been looking but I mean I probably could have looked a little bit more but it's definitely it's it's really nice and earthy in my opinion it's it's nice and earthy it's it's aquatic it's aromatic nice and punchy it is a a nice sharp it's it's a sharp and punchy aromatic aquatic earthy slightly citrusy not citrus if there is citrus in here it's not a popping citrus it's it's like it's it kind of it's kind of the citrus that kind of brings all the, the, the other elements together, the earthiness, the aromatics, the aquatics, if you will. I like this. However, the only thing I will say about it is that as much as I like it, I don't know if many people will like it. You have to be, you have to be open to trying different fragrances. You can't just be the type that says, you know what, I only like the uh, this kind, or I only like uh, freshy, soapy kind, or and this kind and this kind, because is watery and um, aquatic and earthy as it smells. It definitely smells different than others. Like for instance, if you took like uh, Profundo Lights, it's kind of got that watery aromatics um you got bulgari atlantique that's kind of got this and marine you got kind of got this aquatic smell this is a little bit different it's not as like this one doesn't seem as mass appealing as those other ones but it smells very good so this might not be for everybody but i actually quite enjoy this one a lot because it is so different from the others it's different from Atlantique, Marine, your Tommy Bahamas, the ones that got the aquatic notes and stuff like that, your Nauticas that got that aquatics and the, all your other fragrances that got that. This just smells so different. It's, it's really lively, earthy. Again, it's kind of seaweedy and salty. It's almost got this saltiness. Oh, man, I like it. I really do. I really like it a lot, but again, here's the thing. I don't know if everyone will be a fan of this one. Okay, this is a this is a different take. This is uh, this is almost like uh, an artist that, if you think about it, you you go to a uh, art museum and you see the pieces that look stunning, like someone took their time, and then you see those ones that someone just threw together. They threw paint up at the uh, the canvas and. But once you see it, it looks like real art. It probably didn't take that much time. They just threw a big old paint bucket at, at, at the canvas and boom, boom, we got all these different colors and it comes to life. That's kind of what this reminds me of. The 
the, the one that doesn't look like it's gonna be worth anything or all that but once you get close to it and you actually realize man this is actually some pretty cool artwork this is kind of what this fragrance reminds me of it doesn't look like it's gonna please everybody but the people that do enjoy it are really gonna enjoy it okay and honestly i do like this one okay again this is much different this is kind of almost in the same ballpark not the same ballpark but how h24 a lot of people either don't like it or a lot of people love it there's really not that much in between and i think this is how this is going to be this is not going to be an in-between fragrance you might like it you might not like it i think this is either you're going to hate it or you're going to love it but i think some people that do get close enough if they kind of appreciate nice fragrance they are going to enjoy this one a lot again this is going to be summer spring okay now this is not one of those occasional this is not a date night fragrance or anything this is more of a daytime just walking along going outdoors it's great for outdoors trust me this is best outdoors on a nice breezy day especially like what we got today it's like 75 degrees it's nice sunny it's got a nice little breeze this would be perfect for that situation so think of that outdoors nice warm weather kind of breezy i like it i like it go check this one out if it is available still go check it out i will leave the description down below this stuff is very nice again Kind of got this nice punchy again it's like kind of punchy sharp again citrus kind of just if there is citrus in here i'm not sure if there is but it's got to be some kind of citrus that's bringing all this together it's like kind of aromatic it's aquatic it's seaweedy it's earthy it's almost like it got the saltiness to it as well this fragrance smells good you guys and if you guys can find it go check it out Okay, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.